Welcome, and following is a ZTE Blade L7, and today I will show you a couple of tweaks and tricks that you can do on this device. So I'm going to begin with the option called uh, Daydream, and what it allows you to do is whenever the display is actually plugged, or the phone, and not the display, uh, is plugged into charging, it will display uh, whatever you choose. So there's something like a picture frame, a clock, or a couple additional options. So let's go into the settings, and then to the display. And from here you'll find Daydream. Now, as you can see right now, it's set to clock. So what it does is actually I can tap on the button right here. Wait, no, actually, yeah, right here, start now. Uh, this is just to showcase how it works so I don't have to plug it in. It would be nice if there would be actually a clock showing. So this works apparently, I'm not sure if the clock is bugged or something, but normally it should just show an analog clock, I think, analog or digital, let's see, has it here, so it's digital, let's change it maybe to analog, uh, uh, trying to show, change settings to see if it is going to work, there it is, so you can see it now. So basically this will allow you to show the time, uh, assuming it says like where it is right now, whenever you're charging your phone, for instance, overnight, because I think that's where most people charge their phones. But you can also make it into a picture frame by selecting photos, and then uh, in the settings, you'd actually have to uh, choose which photos you want. So I have picture frame right here, and it tell, basically will ask you to choose the photos that it will be displaying. So this is the first one. Now moving on, we're gonna go into the uh, Password option, so we can make password invisible. And as you know, whenever you're typing a password, I'm actually gonna go into the Wi-Fi just to show it off. So just choose one that is protected. And you can see, type in password, you start typing in, and there's always a latest letter that you have pressed visible for about a second, which in my opinion is a second too long. So and there's a way to make it immediately uh, invisible like the other, uh, the rest of the letters that are later on and to do it you go again into the settings and then into security right here and you have this checkbox right here make password visible uh, disable that and now if we would go back into the password typing section so let's just go here you can see that there is no more letter visible in the line which is just a additional security that I consider to, I don't know, be very nice. Now, moving on, I'm uh, gonna go into the developer options, which will allow you to change the animation speed of the device. So I just open that and go all the way down to about phone and find build number, which is right here. Tap on that seven times and you will get a message. You are now a developer. So you can go back and you should see additional option, developer options. Here, tap on it, scroll a little bit past halfway, which I think I already passed it, there it is. And you have the animation speed. So window animation skill, anim uh, transition animation skill, and animation duration skill. So each one of them corresponds to a uh, different animation. Uh, for instance, the first one, which is off, which probably would be the best option to set all of them, is this little window right here. That's the option so if i change it to times 10 you'll see it slowly fading in or fading out now this is really drastic because it was set 10 times slower than it normally is um, then you have window scale so you can also check that to zero and this to zero um, and now there won't be any animations regarding opening windows closing them going to recents and stuff like that everything just pops in immediately as you can see now, if you still want to have some kind of animation, you can always set it to half speed uh, instead of uh, being to one like it was previously or zero. It's really a matter of preference, how you <coughs> like it. Now, moving on, uh, 
I'm gonna go into the system UI tuner, which allows you to hide all this unnecessary uh, clutter up in your uh, top of the phone, uh, basically by allowing you to hide most of the things. So like do not disturb mode, probably you know that it's enabled. You can hide it so it doesn't show up there if you just like a cleaner look of your device. Wi-Fi also. Um, so basically allows you to hide most of the clutter that is being displayed right here. And to first enable it, you would have to actually pull down the notification panel and we have the gear icon for settings. You want to hold it till it starts spinning. I'm not sure if this is going to be visible on the camera, but it is spinning. So once it's spinning, you can let go. And for me, it's going to ask me if I want to remove it. But for you, it's just going to say that uh, system UI tuner has been enabled or something along those lines. Now, I don't want to remove it. This would kind of defeat the purpose. I would have to do it again. So I'm just going to tap on cancel. And from here, you can see at the bottom of the main settings page, you will find system UI tuner. Tap on that. Okay, got it. And now we can go into status bar. And here we have all the toggles that you can disable. So hotspot, Bluetooth, uh, do not disturb mode, gun, alarms, uh, Wi-Fi, for instance. Internet, uh, cellular data, airplane mode. Um, so yeah, as you can see, even though the items are still enabled like Wi-Fi, do not disturb mode, you don't see them anymore in the status bar. So I'm just a little way of cleaning up the display if you like that kind of thing. And the last thing that I want to show is the uh, switching of the keys. So basically allows you to simply switch the back with recent. Now, I personally may be a little bit weird, but I'm used to having a back button on the right side instead of the left. And here it's recent. Let me just clear that. So I can actually change it by going to the settings and finding the option called hard keys. There it is. As you can see, it just allows you to switch it around. So once I tap on this, now recent will be located on the left instead of right, as you will see now. And this will be the back button now. So that'll conclude all the tweaks and tricks that I want to share. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.